Welcome to another episode of Patching for Noise. As you can see before me, I have the um, Bafako Lich website opened up. And new to my collection is the Bafako Lich. I've been wanting one of these for quite some time, and according to the website, I'm very looking forward to using this the multi function module based off of the uh, Rebel Technology Owl, as you can see before you. So. I'm looking forward to hooking this up and share my experience with you guys. Uh, see if this is something that's um, uh, worth uh, buying. Maybe you can use it in your module setup. I'll share my experience and um, let's go to the patch library. There's hundreds of patches. Don't know if all of them work, but um, if I can get half of them to work, I'll be happy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and um, hook up the uh, Bufaco Lich to my, my module gear and I'll share my experience with you guys. And... Um, I'll give you my feedback and let you know what I think. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so we got our Bafaco Lich installed in our case. It's not really installed, it's just kind of screwed onto the wood here. I don't really have it permanently installed right now, but uh, this is just temporarily. So let's go through the internal patches that ship with the unit. And one of them is called the harmonic. It's like a glitch sound. And that's patch number three. So before we start loading patches from the internet uh, on the Rebel Technology website, let's just see what the actual unit has to offer. This is called the harmonic. the harmonics that comes out of it. I can do a lot with this. Try Jeremy's weird effect. Okay, let's check it out. This one is called Jeremy's Weird Effects. those bells, ain't that cool? This one is called the heptatonic mode. Okay, I'm going to store that one on number five.
This one is called a pitch grain looper. Let's check it out. I don't know what it's doing, but I like it. Wow, that was really cool. That's called a PGL. Let's go to another one. This one is called the uh, Dub Delay. Let's load this up into the um, Bifaco. Okay, loaded. Let's check it out. Look like it even has a treble switch on here, which is really cool. I like that. Wow, that's nice. Alright, what else we got here? Go back to the patch library. Let's do a comb filter. guys for our last patch this one is called the vibro flange let's check this out That's pretty good, I like this. Alright, well that wraps it up guys. Very nice high quality flanger.
Well, thank you all for watching my video, another episode of Patching for Noise. Well, I really like the uh, Bufaco Lich. Every single patch that I have uploaded was definitely usable in my modular gear. Um, I like the build quality as well on this module. Uh, I like the, uh, the knobs and the buttons. Everything is uh, really good quality. Shipping from Perfect Circuit was very fast. And um, I like the delay effects. I like the reverb, the chorus, and all the glitch effects that it comes with. The website has a lot of patches to offer. Um, I mean, it's definitely worth buying, I must say. You can use this in your modular gear in many ways. Um, this kind of reminds me of the Disting MK4. Um, so this is, to me, basically a second one. Uh, I don't know if you can really compare the two, but it's similar in nature. But um, I definitely recommend it. My feedback, I would give it a 9 out of 10. What's the 1% I don't like? Well, I wish it had more storage capacity and more display. Um, you know, I wish it could load from an SD card instead of me hooking it up to a computer. And that way I can just load it directly on the unit without having to hook it up to the computer. That's my only complaint. But other than that, it's not enough for me not to buy it. It's definitely going to be a keeper for a while. And um, I definitely would recommend it. Anyways, thanks for uh, tuning in to another episode of Patching for Noise. And we'll see you guys next week where we create new sounds and new ideas, possibly new gear. Who knows? One, two. Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking of the um, the Rossum Control Forge and some other goodies. So you may see this on Reverb soon. I might regret it, but I'm always... Uh, Eurorack is a, a never-ending shifting of gear. You never keep the same thing. Never. never Anyways, never, never. Wanna... so we'll see you guys next week, and uh, who knows what we'll have. We may have some new sounds and some new ideas. We may have new gear. We just have to tune in next week and see. So subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you can. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And we'll talk to you guys.